Alright, hello everyone. Dark Side Phil here, and welcome to the Week in Preview for Sunday, May 17th, 2015. And this Week in Preview in particular is one of the most important ones because typically I just kind of go through and say, oh, this is what I'm covering this week, yada, yada, yada. This week in particular is very different than a normal week for me because of some things that have happened, some schedule changes that needed to shift around. Finally, we've got new releases. Yes, I know people have been dying and saying, Phil, for the past month, you've only been playing Mortal Kombat and Persona 4, and when is something else coming out? We're dying for new content. We finally got a big new release and a another episodic release that a lot of people have been looking forward to. And we've even been hinted at a third release, which I will talk about in this Week in Preview video. So I urge you, please, if you're watching this video and you're like, it's just another Week in Preview, no, it's not. It's a very different week, huge stuff coming out. So it's very uh, important that you check out and watch the entirety of this video, okay? So let's get started. I'll talk about the schedule this week and then a few things that are going to be going on during the course of the week that may or may not happen, as well as some Patreon things that are coming up so that we can get the air clear, all right? So first of all, let's talk about this week. This week, in particular, that just happened was thrown all, all out of sorts and discombobulated because my stupid foot issue came back. For those of you who have been following along, I've had a foot issue where it swells up and I went to the doctor for it and she says it's gout. It's because of things that you eat and things that you drink, basically. And it finally went away after two weeks. It went out away completely for a whole week. And then I stupidly went out and I binged. I went and I had red meat here and I had red meat here. I, I ate red meat three days in a row. Plus I was drinking somewhat, some al alcohol and stuff like that. And uh, my foot swelled up again a couple days ago. And it's my fault. I mean, it blatantly said right in there, if you don't want to have this happen, you need to adhere to a strict diet. And I didn't. And now I'm kind of like, shit. So I'm taking it seriously now. And for the past three days, I've gone cold turkey without red meat, no shellfish, no liquor, no anything. And I'm trying to make my diet a lot more healthy with uh, white meat like like pork and, and chicken and a lot of veggies and that kind of thing. Pasta, all that stuff has very low acidity levels and it will keep my foot from swelling up, okay? So I know this is all superfluous to anything that you care about with the schedule, but the reasoning is this weekend was completely thrown off because I couldn't walk. And normally on the weekends, what I do is I go out with my girlfriend, Leanna, and we do all of our errands. We do our shopping for groceries and anything else that we need for around the house. And in particular, this week we actually had a big list and I couldn't walk. So obviously I couldn't go and do any shopping if I couldn't walk. So that was a big bummer. So what that ended up happening this weekend is that I shifted my schedule around and I said, since... I know coming up this week is going to be a ton of new stuff, and I'm not going to be able to play the Patreon's Choice playthrough Persona 4. I decided that I was going to play a marathon of Persona 4 this weekend, and I did. Between Friday to Sunday, I played four big streams of Persona 4 over, I think it was around 12 hours of gameplay that I actually put into the game. And at this point, I'm at the end game of Persona 4 now. So for those of you who have not had a chance to catch up and you're like, ah, Phil's not playing the game a lot, so I catch up when I can. I played a shit ton of Persona 4 this past weekend. I'm nearing the very end game of the game. It's like the 11th hour at this point, okay? So for those of you who want to catch up, I very much urge that you should. You have all week. I will be playing more Persona 4 later in the week. I'll tell you when in just a moment, okay? So, because this weekend was all discombobulated, I wasn't able to go out and do all the stuff I needed to do. Now, I can't just not do it. If I don't do my errands, I can't eat. There's no food here in the house for us to make dinners and nothing. And eating out every day is terrible for you. It's just going to make my problem come back anyway. So, my foot, the good news is, my foot is better today. It's still swollen, but it's a hell of a lot better than it was the last two days. Most of the pain is gone. After I keep taking my meds, because I took, I spent $300, yes, because my health insurance sucks, I had to go to the store and spend $300 on prescription meds, I'm using them, and because of my diet changes, and my, 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 basically my, almost detoxing my body from these things that can make me acidy and, and make my foot swell up, uh, I'm hoping it's not going to come back. I'm hoping that by tomorrow, it'll be fine, and if it is, which I hope it is, because right now we're really on track for that, there will be no early stream tomorrow, Monday, May 18th. Okay, I want to make that clear. No stream early on. Because, why ladies and gentlemen? Two reasons. Number one, because I need to go out and do all the stuff that I didn't do over the weekend. And I need a few hours to do it. So that's number one. But number two, the big new release this week. The game we've been waiting four years for is finally being released, ladies and gentlemen. The Witcher 3 finally releases, and because I got it on PlayStation 4, 
It's saying, now I can only go by what PSN tells me, it's promising the game is playable by 4 p.m. my time, which would be roughly, you know, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So you're talking 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. The game is supposed to be playable. I've pre-ordered it, and even I even got a call from my local GameStop saying they weren't doing only a midnight release. So for me, I would have even wouldn't have been able to play it as early as I can. I would have had to wait, you know, another seven hours or whatever to game at GameStop. It makes sense for me to do it this way. So I'm getting the game digitally. I'm going to pre-download it actually tonight, pre-load it so it's ready to go. And fingers crossed it's actually playable at 4 p.m. If it is, I'm doing my stream starting at 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern. And it's going to be a marathon stream where I'm going to be playing from 4, I'd say a minimum of about 5 hours. Maybe even a little more depending on how much I'm really liking The Witcher 3. And then all day Tuesday, my, my usual early stream, which starts around... Excuse me, which starts around 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, will be Witcher 3, and my second stream on Tuesday, which starts around, what is it, around 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. That will also be Witcher 3. So we're talking two big days, one day a marathon stream to launch the game, and then the next day a whole day of it. So tons and tons of Witcher 3. For those of you who've been waiting a million years for this game, I've been waiting and you know crazily for this. Where is it? You know, now that I've played games like Dark Souls, Bloodborne, I'm a lot more uh, adjusted to more difficult games. I'm thinking I'm going to get the game a lot quicker than I did Witcher 2. My god, when I played Witcher 2, I had no idea what I was stepping into years ago. And I do want to make it clear, I'm playing it on PS4 for the sole reason that number one, I can play it earlier, and number two, because it will easily capture on my setup. If I were to play this game on PC, I would have had to bought a second PC to capture and stream while I play the game on my gaming PC. It wouldn't have worked. My gaming PC cannot capture and stream at 1080p 60 frames per second. It just can't do it. So, playing on PS4, starting tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, Marathon, and then all day Tuesday, okay? So what else is coming out this week? Well, there's one thing that's definitely coming out this week, and that is Life is Strange Episode 3. As stupid as it is, because if you remember, Life is Strange Episode 2 released the day when Bloodborne came out. That was smart. So when should we release Episode 3? The day that Witcher 3 comes out. Duh. They're just, it's idiotic. And it's funny because actually a few followers of mine, after I talked about this last week on my Hate Live podcast, actually tweeted the developers of Life is Strange and said, why do you keep releasing your game on the same day as major releases? Don't you understand that splits the viewer base and splits the fan base and people will play another game over yours and won't be talking about your game nor promoting it? And they said, dude, well, eh, you can just play both. Idiots. I don't understand it, because Life is Strange is a great game. It's just the worst fucking release schedule I've ever seen in my life by a bunch of dunderheads. So, it's coming out this week, but there's no way I'm giving it priority over Witcher 3. I'd be an asshole. So, I'm thinking either Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how Witcher 3 is going. When I finally get burnt out from playing the shit out of Witcher 3 and I need a little break, the first stream one of those days will be Life is Strange Episode 3. So that will be coming this week, either Wednesday or Thursday. I don't want to make a definitive promise to you until I know how far I've gotten in Witcher 3 and how much fun I'm having with the game and if I need a break from it, okay? Now, I just want to forewarn everyone. There are strong rumors and even allusions by Telltale Games that Game of Thrones Episode 4 and even Tales from the Borderlands Episode 3 might be released this week. Just going to throw that out there. There's allusions to it, and Telltale Games is infamous for just releasing their game with less than 24 hours warning. There's a strong possibility tomorrow we're all playing Witcher 3 and Telltale puts on their Twitter, Oh, by the way, Game of Thrones is out. <laughs> So, again, stupid-ass release scheduling. Um, and, of course, no one's going to be focusing on those games if they come out. If they do come out, what I will do, as I just said, is let's say I'm playing Witcher 3 every day, and after a day, oh, I'm feeling burnt out. So I play Life is Strange. Then I go back to Witcher 3 for about a day. Then I'm like, ah, we like a little bit of more variety. If one of those games is out, then maybe I'll play them. But there's no guarantee they're coming out. They haven't been said yet, but I just want to throw that out there. Yes, I am considering playing them. If they come out, if the worst case scenario, if they come out and I'm so enthralled and engrossed in Witcher 3 that I don't want to stop playing it, screw it, I'll play them next week because we still got one more week in May. And I'm sorry, I'm just, the priority is not on those games and they have to understand that. That when you've got a game you've been waiting for it for four years, the entire gaming universe is talking about Witcher 3 except for a small percentage, you have to focus on that. You shouldn't release your games during that, that window. You'd be an asshole. And apparently these episodic game releases are, they're just assholes. I don't know what else to say. It's stupidity. So, 
That's how this week is going to go down. I don't think there's going to be a Hate Live podcast this week, quite honestly, because between Witcher 3 and Life is Strange and other stuff going on, especially people who are clamoring for the end of Persona 4, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford to have a stream completely away from all of that. You know what I mean? And then, quite honestly, that means that the last week of May, there'll be an episode of Ask the King, where you guys are going to be able to do the Q&A special, where you post up your questions and I answer them. So it's looking like there may not be another Hate Live podcast until June at this point. And I just want to make that clear. I do have another back-in-the-day story lined up that's actually quite a good one. I've got tons to talk about in this particular one, and I might actually give that segment more time. And in particular, I'm sure I'm also going to want to talk about my thoughts on Witcher 3 and my thoughts on Life is Strange and all the stuff that's going on, any gaming news or whatever. So that'll be a great podcast, but that's going to have to probably wait until the first week of June, just so everyone knows, okay? Um, so Persona 4, I'm sure a lot of people are saying, well, what's up with Persona 4 then? I definitely want to play at least one session this week, so I will promise you this. Worst case scenario, if I get um, totally just Im Im uh, immersed in Witcher 3 this week and I play all week, I will promise you this weekend there will be a stream of Persona 4. It may be Saturday, it may be Friday, it may be Sunday, we'll see. Now, other people who love Mortal Kombat 10 might be freaking out right now, and they might be saying, but Phil... You originally had promised Mortal Kombat 10 with fans was going to be this Sunday. You canceled it because you said your foot was messed up and you wanted to play more Persona 4. Uh, when is MKX coming back? Well, right now there's strong rumors that the next DLC character for MKX will be coming out the last week of May. If that is the case, I will be checking out that character. I'll be doing just like I did with Jason, checking out all the variations, doing the tower, and then going online for a set of gameplay, okay? And... Again, dependent on how this week goes. If, let's say by the end of the week, I'm feeling a little burnt out on Witcher 3 and I want to give myself a day or two of rest, I will do a MKX versus viewers session of online play, just like I've been doing this Sunday. But I don't want to promise it, and I'll be honest with you guys. The reason I'm not going to promise it is this. Number one, if Witcher 3 is a great game, I don't want to take a time away from it, especially if there's tons of people who are watching it and want to see it continue for a game that's been out for over a month. And quite honestly, the online play has done little to nothing to impress me. And I'm going to lay down the law right now because I'm really pissed at this point. This past week, NetherRealm released a patch for Mortal Kombat 10 saying it was going to improve the matchmaking. You would have dramatically better connections. You'd be able to find people with green connections that you couldn't find before. And if you find people with bad connections in a ranked match, you'll be able to back out of the match before the match starts so that you don't have a horrible quality match that counts towards your rankings. Guess what? NetherRealm fucking lied. The patch this week made everyone's connection look green. People who previously had one bar red connections or nothing, no bars because the connection was so poor, now show up as three to four bar green connections. Every single fucking person who I played this past Thursday magically had a green connection, yet all the matches lagged. So NetherRealm, quite honestly, is a bunch of dishonest liars with this patch. They're trying to, to cover up the fact that their online play of their game is terrible. And I've talked to numerous people over the past couple of weeks, and we all collectively agree at this point, the game is not viable for competitive play online. You can learn certain patterns, you can learn certain combos, but it's not the same as playing the real game. There are certain characters, such as Aaron Black, Melina, and one or two others, who online literally have unblockable strategies that you cannot defend against because the game is too delayed to block the quick moves that they have. From mid-screen, you can't block half the shit these characters do. And they could just endlessly mash pattern, and you lose. Not because you suck, not because you don't understand the strategy, not because you don't have the fundamentals to block high-low, but because the game doesn't react fast enough, because the online play is lagged to shit. So I'm not saying that online play isn't fun. By no means am I saying that you can't learn anything from MKX online play. What I'm saying is, it's not worth my time to now that I'm in a new game with Witcher 3, and I've got other episodic things to do, and I've got the conclusion of Persona 4, it's quite frankly not worth my fucking time. NetherRealm does not deserve more time from my schedule for me to play this laggy shit online play that they claimed they were going to patch and fix, and they lied and just put a basically a sign over it saying, it's better now, and it's worse. <laughs> So it's not that I don't want to play against people or viewers. It's that I don't. I, it gets me so frustrated. I know a game has potential. I see the game. You, know, you can watch the game played at offline tournaments, and it's so different than watching people play online because it is better. And the game is better than what online play represents, and that is a major fault of NetherRealm for not finding a way to improve their fucking netcode since MK9. It's the same. It's just as bad. MK9, Injustice, MK10, same fucking netcode, runs like shit. 
every single time that I play the game, regardless if I'm streaming, not streaming, capturing, not capturing, doesn't matter, it's shit. So, it's unfortunate, but that's just the reality of the situation, and that's how I'm handling it, you know what I mean? I will play the DLC characters, I did buy the season pass, I am interested to see how those characters get implemented into the game, but I'm certainly not going to take big chunks out of my schedule to continue to play MKX when the game is a piece of shit online. Okay, so this week there may be MKX near the end of the week. If not, there will definitely be MKX the week after when the DLC characters come out. Yes, I'll be checking them out, but that's the fate of MKX. And if you have a problem with it, you can blame NetherRealm for making a game that runs like shit in an online environment. I would play it more if it didn't. It does, and that's just the reality of it, okay? So now, let's finish this up with a big heads up. Because there is a big heads up coming up. Patreon, ladies and gentlemen. You haven't really heard me talk too much about it in the past two weeks. Maybe once or twice in a video I've mentioned it. I have not mentioned Patreon much at all on pre-streams. I haven't mentioned it much at all in anything. And the reason is because, you know, we did had a great month in April. We all rallied. By the end of April, we hit all the goals. And again, three successful months in Patreon. Thank everyone so much who pledged, okay? The month of May, I've been kind of racking my brain for events that I want to do in the month of May. I finally solidified the things that I want to do. I'm going to announce them right now publicly for the first time. I've talked about them on Twitter and stuff, but first time in a video. Right now, I'm going to announce them. This week, I will update my Patreon goals, and then I hope that you will consider pledging to my Patreon. For those who don't know what it is, it's patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. It's right in the description of this video. You can give it a click and check it out. You get cool perks, including being able to vote on multiple events, being able to get your name shouted out in different videos and such. In fact, I hate to, sh to say it, but unfortunately... Uh, I have the shoutouts list of people who I need to show you credit for. And by the end, of, at the very end of this video, not only am I going to give you guys shoutouts, but I'm also going to read off your names, okay? So I apologize. I didn't have that right, right away here at the beginning of the video. I wanted to get all the information out of the way first, all right? But that being said, all those cool perks, you get a Project 7 t-shirt, you get a private video made, you have a chance to even be in a project of mine coming up later this year, hopefully Project 7. So the perks are great, but the goals for this month, okay? Continuing on, let's let's go ahead with what these goals are going to be. First of all, the Patron's Choice playthrough uh, is going to finish off as P uh, Persona 4. However, at this point, there doesn't seem to be a collective agreement on what people would want to see me play next. And there is a game that I've wanted to play for a long time that I never got to play because I could never get a majority of people to agree that it's what I should play next. And I think this, being that I'm finishing Persona 4 because Persona 5 is possibly coming out later this year, this next game is another game that would have a niche audience, wouldn't attract a ton of people, and therefore wouldn't support a 20 to 25 hour playthrough, which is as long as the game is. But it's a game that I've wanted to play for years. Yakuza 4. Okay, the latest game in the Yakuza storyline, it's been a long time since Yakuza 4 came out, everyone's been saying, will I ever play it after I played Yakuza uh, Dead Souls, which was a spin-off what if game years ago that I loved, and people loved that playthrough, but I never got back to the series because people basically said, eh, it's a niche game, it's not going to hold interest, Dead Souls did because there were zombies, this one, you know, normal Yakuza doesn't have zombies and shit in it, um, I have the game, I want to play it, but it never wins a poll. Whenever I hold a poll of what we want to see, it always, something else always just beats it. So I've decided I want to play Yakuza 4 as my next patron-supported playthrough, okay? So that's going to be one of the goals. I'm going to set, you know, set the goal levels and everything. Um, another goal this month is going to be uh, the fact that I want to do another mini-marathon. Yes, there is a mini-marathon actually coming up next week for indie games, and this week I will set up the polls, by the way, for patrons to vote on that. However, for the month of June, I want to have another mini-marathon, but I want it to be something different. And I've had three selections that I kind of sorted out to see what it would be. Number one, a original Sonic the Hedgehog games marathon, like Sonic 1, 2, and 3 for the Genesis. That would be a cool marathon for a day for me to play like seven and a half hours going through the Sonic games and see how far I can get, right? Number two... Crash Bandicoot. I've never played... Well, let me take that back. I played Crash Bandicoot back in the day. It is a gruelingly difficult game. And I would love to play through that on that and on PS1. And also see if I could maybe play the second one. If I could get through the first game in 8 hours. I don't even know if I could. That would be a cool marathon, right? And then number 3, Banjo-Kazooie. Especially with uh, Ukulele being announced. It would be cool for me to play through Banjo-Kazooie. Which I never even touched. And do it in a marathon style and see how far I could get in that game. So those are three candidates for a mini-marathon to go on in the month of June, okay? And there will be a few other things. Obviously, the heavy rain 
Best and worst series is going to continue, and that needs to be financed, so that's going to be a goal level. And people right now are currently nominating games on which will be the next game in that series once Heavy Rain finishes. Just so you guys know, it looks like that series will conclude around part 8. From what I'm going to understand, looking at all the videos and stuff, probably around part 8 it'll finish. So... Just so you know, another couple of weeks, that's going to end, and I'm going to start a new game, and the patrons will be able to control that. And I'm still going to have the stretch goal, where the stretch goal is going to be if I can raise $2,000 in one month, I'm going to spend roughly around $750 of that on a new camera for me to do great green screen footage, for me to do great footage for ongoing series, for the return of Project 7, etc. But I need a better camera that has mic input, that has a large lens, it's a professional camera that you can use for quality stuff, not this little handy cam shit, because they look terrible. The footage, I have a handy cam, hand, you know, handheld camcorder that's supposed to be 1080p, and it looks like garbage, because it is. Little handheld camcorders you buy at Best Buy, 90% of them are garbage. You need to get a really high quality one to do professional level stuff. And I have a green screen now, and I just gotta get the camera that's good enough to handle that, okay? So those are going to be the goal levels for the month of uh, uh, May, just to throw that out there. By the end of this week, I will update my Patreon with those goal levels. So please consider pledging. You will hear me multiple times over the course of the next couple weeks mentioning Patreon. It's the two-week push to reach for the end of the month. I always do this at the end of the month. Thank you very much to those of you who have contributed before. Thank you to those who are considering contributing. Great perks. I've had not one person complain about perks so far since I started doing it. I've, I've fulfilled every perk, and everyone's saying, thank you, Phil. You're coming through on your goals. Great. Thank you very much for that. And I'm happy to please people while they're able to help support me and let me improve my work and do awesome things like play Persona 4 and Minecraft and hopefully Yakuza 4 and do cool, awesome indie marathons and other marathons and stuff. I'm enjoying it as much as you're enjoying it. So thanks for that, and let's keep it going, all right? More on that coming in the next week. That is it for the week in preview. Big week with Witcher 3, Life is Strange Episode 3, possibility of Telltale Games, definitely more Persona 4, maybe some more MKX, tons of content. I thank you guys. I hope to see you for that cool, awesome, special stream on Monday where I play Witcher 3 early because it's out on PSN early. I hope you'll be there with me to enjoy the experience and for all the content coming out this week. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you later. Peace out. For the week in preview, I'm DSP. See ya. Real soon. <laughs> wow, that was fucking creepy shit. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on, because I almost ended it, and I'm not ready to. I am now going to show you the list of patrons and read their names. Hold on. Let me head over here to the PC, because I did not set this up. I apologize. All right. Hold on here. I'm going to rotate my mic around. Make lots of fucking noise. Doing it. All right, everyone. Let's finish the week in preview the right way. Let me get this list of people up for you. It's going to look like shit. I have not found a solution. If you remember on the week in preview last week, I asked for a solution to scrolling the names across the screen. None of them worked, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to do a bootleg until I find a better solution. So hold on. I'm going to do a screen grab. Add a scene. Wow, that didn't work very well, did it? <laughs> Add a scene. Here we go. Add a source. Monitor capture. We'll do window capture. There it is. Okay, now I will read off the names, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for the insanely gorilla style. I used to do it a lot more professional until... OBS decided that since I had so many patron donators that I can't do it the old way. So here we go. Special thanks to April patrons. Kazzy, Matt McIntyre, Trevor Say, Adrian Sweeney, Jelsey, 1973, Guitar Player, 1939, Zachary Reyes, Tom Dooley, Sammy Samosa, Ripley, Connor, Price, Myron, oh, Myron Tan, excuse me, Last Rambo 341, Quinn Roberts, Fanism, Marl, Chev 427BB, Thomas McDonald, Hank Duma, Faithian13, Super Skull85, Hoi Ha, Molawan, Krishan, GL, Elysian Esteban Velasquez, Zach Payne, Miguel Aguilar, Cody Carls, Landon Osetutu, David, Darkside Abraham, Francis, Dylan, Hayunga, <laughs> Ryan L. Dylan, Scott Nagan, no, I'm sorry, he's probably just Scott, and then Nagando, Francisco Resto, Noah Soblowski, 
Konstantinos Papadakis. That was a terrible butchering of that name. I apologize. Niao Shao Jin. Oh, that was even worse. Wow. I'm not good at this. Mike Gibson. Alex. Insane Kyo. Alice Kokono. Stephen J. Cox. Charlie Clark. Bassoon Girl 2012. Louis Carrera. John Madigan. Daz Boshit. Ryan. Hajost. Mark Na Nasuti. Rusky. Karth. Zathias. Ali Hyatt. Popsicolo, Grant, Derby, Scenic X, Cooper B21, Harvey, Philip, Isaac Pusey, Liam Curtis, Eric Miller, Zach Watson, Rex Lamb, Hacking Dark, Sean Murphy, whew, Ruben Dezu Kroon, Raymond Falcon, Atlas Telemon, Robert Forshaw, Matthias Nygaard, Mickelson, Michael Hyannis, Seppo, Michael K Kozlowski, Kozlowski, The Bus Stop, Randy, Christian, Raid, Kevin Stiles, Blaine Mayo, Joe Wilcher, Elliscore, Kigalian, Brandon Cole, Meth Rollins, Josh Chesney, Austin Abib, Lincoln Simpson, Kyle Kennedy, George or Jorge, I apologize, I don't know how to pronounce that, Kuni Kanazawa, Alan Pritt, Todd Jones, Aiden Kreber, Alejandro Garcia, Five Star, Jacob Curtis, Yancey Benson, Ashley Stocks, Hassan Demir, Naki, Connor, Van Buskirk, Kais Atayi, wow, I cannot pronounce these. Matia Willick, Scott Young Keenan, Rifat Michael, Run CMD, Jan Conception, CJ Uribe, Ruben Rivera, Carlos Venegas, the son of Sons of Kojima, thanks a lot for your dollar, Fanta and Doritos, Lucas Crispin, Scott Ryan Guest, Ultimate Strife, Kim S, Ty, JP, Nep, and Donald Russell. Thank you to you special, special people who all pledged in the month of April and helped make possible this possible month of fun. And uh, hopefully you'll see your name up here in the month of May if you do decide to pledge, just like all these guys did, okay? Guys and gals. So apologies, I had to do so bootleg. I'll be looking for a way to do it better next month. In fact, I may even change it to like a crawl or something if I can. We'll see what happens. But uh, that is it for now. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you next month time and i'll see you for gameplay this week oh yes oh yes i'll see ya i'll see you when i see ya